Yeah. What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, people? I'm back, as usual, giving you another Dodge ride. And if you don't know who I am, rewind that a couple more seconds or a minute to find out who I am. Today, we're gonna, I'm going to do a segment called Letters from the Peasants. Now, there's been a few people complaining, crying one, showing out that A, that they're not getting attention, they always cry, they want somebody to talk to them, they want to do this, they want to do that. Now, I got this one letter from this peasant. Now, when they, if you're a working person who carries your you can't be a peasant. See? So, let me, let me go in. Back in the day, the emperor or the feudal lord had his heir, and the peasants, you know, they, you know, they all griped. You know, we all know that they griped. So, so what happened was all the, the peasants got together and they formed a committee. We would call them a committee, association, whatever. And then they would elect a certain a couple people to go see the emperor. You know. To, to address their complaints, their gripes. And we have the same thing today. It's apparently, the, but today it's a little slicker. Back in the day, the emperor had the choice of knocking them off before, after, or during, or listening to gripes, addressing them, or not doing anything at all. Most of the time, the emperor or a feudal lord was nice, benevolent and listen to their grievances. And I am also benevolent and nice, and I'm listening to their grievances. One of the grievances is, what was, what, 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 what that one idiot say? Nah, why don't I don't debate people? The reason I don't debate people is it's this. What does the debate prove? You have your opinion. I have my opinion. Your opinion is wrong. My opinion is right. What, what, what do you want? You want to talk? You want to hug? I mean, I can, you must have been raised by a single mother. I can tell. Because if you know, look at all these guys on YouTube. All these emotional single mother raised men. Look at them. That, that never had a male. Now, when I say about, you don't have to have a, a father per se in your life. But you have to have a male role model to show you the ropes. A lot of these guys on YouTube, if you, you I, I can just tell. I'm like, I mean, what type, what type of guy says, come talk to me, come speak to me, debate me, you can call me. No, man, I got my, I'm a grown man, I got my own opinions. You have your own opinions. You're supposed to be a grown man. I mean, I can see we do videos go back and forth. I, I understand that, that's how YouTube works. But I don't think I'm gonna get up here and waste my time and money. Cause like I said, if I do if I do a debate with you, it's gonna waste some of my money. And it's not gonna that's not worth it. It's like a lot of these a lot of these guys are like, I hate to say this, I hate to use this quote, but it's the truth. A lot of these guys are these chitlin circuit hobos who they're the type of guys who think cause they they're, they're you ever meet these guys in life, they think because they do something on a, on a very small scale. They think that they're like big time. Say you say you do this, you sell chicken dinners out of your house. Well, they think they got an enterprise going. But be that as it may, you may have some entrepreneurial skills. Are you going to compete with McDonald's anytime soon? But yet in your mind, you already are competing with McDonald's. Aren't you? A lot of these guys are just chipping circuit hustlers. And then when they come up against me, they run these little scams they got going on. I'm like, come on, dude, I've seen that before. Get out of here. They get mad at me, or or they, they, they get mad at this, or they say, debate me one time. I'm like, I'm not gonna debate you. Because I debated you before. I debated a lot of these people before. If I could, if I ask you questions in, in your video, in the comment section, you refuse to answer, you delete them, or you change them, 
What makes me think you ain't gonna do the same thing on your if we go debate wise? I don't trust you guys. I don't. You just you're nothing. I mean, nothing really. Seriously, what do you want me to do here? I mean, I don't, I don't want to waste my time sitting up here wondering what to debate about. I have my views, and those those are etched in stone. You have your views, and they aren't they're etched in silly putty. They can be transferred anywhere. You want to impress somebody, do what you say, mean what you say. If you want to impress me, don't flip flop. If you want to impress me, like, look, there's, there's, there's a situation where, especially on Facebook, the fake is the new real. I understand that, but when you guys come over against me, I'm not going to give into all your excuses, all your, all your victimizations all your reasons for this, because a lot of it is just pure ignorance. And ignorance is no excuse. A lot of it is it's just you're just ignorant. A lot of you are ignorant. It's just how it is. Well, well, what about, you know, well, what about this? I'm not talking about, I'm talking about this. See, a lot of them want to, like, veer off and talk about something else. I'm like, no, let's talk about this. You know, and your reasons and logic, a lot of you guys are just out to lunch. You guys are like, you know, nobody's home in the casa, buddy. So instead of getting emotional, crying, instead of being a victim, which technically everybody can be a victim in America if you look at it that way. It's just, you're, you're, you're nobody new. You just don't want to work for enough. You don't want to do, you don't want to be anything. It's not my, it's not my fault you don't want to do anything. It's not my fault you don't want to make something out of your life. It's not my fault. And then these same guys are like, and, and I'm now, I deal with all sorts of folks. Mostly are the, the black, uh, revolution, not revolution, whatever they want to call ourselves. I deal with homosexual groups. I deal with um, racist groups, and and the, and the black groups. They kill me. They're like, well, well, we need to leave. I'm like, well, go to Africa. Well, we don't advise that. I know you don't fucking advise going back to Africa. And at the same time, they're going. The United States ain't gonna give you no little piece piece of land here. They're gonna give you. You already fucked up Detroit. Cleveland, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, New York, or the Bronx and Brooklyn, Camden, B more DC, shall I go on? It's just it's just wild man. A lot of you guys want me to come up here, you want me to talk to this and that to you. But at the same time, I'm here to help people who want to help. If you don't want to help, move on. That's it. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.